Hey, what's going on, guys? It's Rizky here. Welcome to SnowRunner. I know this is a game that has been hyped up for the last few months. I have been extremely, extremely excited for this and extremely excited to bring this to the channel. But we're going to be starting off here in the single player today. We're going to be starting off with this old Chevy C1500, CK1500, whatever. I love this thing. It's a step side. I love these old, like, OBS Chevys. But hey nonetheless let's get into this we are here at the starting spot i have not even moved an inch really uh so apparently we had to hit up on the d-pad to start our engine you can attach the trailer it says up there in the left hand corner some of the stats and stuff of this truck so let's go ahead and get that engine fired up sounds pretty dang good and i'm assuming these are our winch points yes they are because i am on pc by the way guys but i'm just going to be using a xbox controller just because it's a little bit easier to drive on the old xbox controller but it's going to take me a little bit to get used to it because I am mainly a PC player. So, uh, it looks like what we have to do is find the watchtower. So, let's uh, just sit back and chat a little bit. Um, it's going to be popping up some tutorials. Driving in low gear. It'll slow down, but low. Yeah, okay, I know how that, all that works. It looks like we have to go to that point there. So, it's not too far away. Let's, uh, let's head on over there. I figured I'd show you guys while we're on the way over to the watchtower, check out these gauges and the interior here of this old Chevy. Pretty cool. Not a bad interior at all. It definitely looks like they paid some pretty high uh, attention to detail here. And I don't think it shows us hitting the gas there or anything, but that's not that big a deal. But the coolest part is, if you guys played uh, Mud Runner and stuff, they had like the fake gauges. Look at these gauges. They actually work. They're actually working gauges. Really cool. I guess we'll drive around here into the first person mode for just a little bit. You can lean forward and stuff. So let's just get on driving. So it seems like we can either go that way or we can go around. I think we're just going to go around because, I mean, why not? I think we'll be able to make it here in the old... We're, we're just in two-wheel drive right now in automatic. But it seemed to work. Oh, boy. Maybe... Maybe we can't go around. All right, let's see if we can get through this. Dangerous water level. We'll, we'll be all right. Oh, we're making it. Yeah, that's fine. Eh. Just a little water ain't gonna hurt. Uh, don't mind the damage. I accidentally, uh, you know, snagged a guardrail on the way here. <laughs> well, we made it across. Definitely um, are gonna need to upgrade to some, like, tractor tires and a snorkel on this thing at some point. So here we are at a fuel station. I know how some of these things work. They're just, uh, you know, done much better. Okay, well, we got some mud here. Let's just not risk getting stuck in. Let's throw her in low and also put her in all-wheel drive. Let's see if she can make it. Let's, let's actually do some uh, mud driving. No, don't hit the horn. Let's see how it goes through the mud in first person. Yeah, that's kind of boring. I want to be able to see the truck do its thing. She's eating. She's eating. Oh. You just kind of got of uh, feather the throttle. That's why I'm playing on a controller, so I can just you know, kind of ease on the throttle a little bit. And there we go. We made it. There's a radio playing over there at the car service area. So, kind of weird. But now we should be able to pull her out of all the drive, stick her back in automatic, and we can get some more speed. And it looks like we are almost here to the watchtower. Alright, check it out. It's like it's almost like we're playing the Hunter Call of the Wild. You get to collect watchtowers. Watchtower discovered. Good job. You discovered your first watchtower. Discovering watchtowers will reveal parts of the map. To repair the bridge, you will need a bigger vehicle to transport materials. Open your map and look at your surroundings. Find a truck capable. Okay, I'm sure we're going to do that at some point here today. So launch observation. Uh, skip cutscene. I don't want to skip it. I want to check it out. Alright. It's a very beautiful game. Definitely looks really good. I like how it's not super uh, film grainy, if you know what I'm saying. Uh, like the last game, Mud Runner was it was kind of grainy looking. This game looks much smoother and clearer. So let's take a look at the map and see exactly where we need to go. And this map is freaking huge. So that's that's good. I like that. I like the fact that we have a lot of places to explore. So it looks like we need to go up the road 
and go pick up a new truck. Let's head on out of there. I have no idea where it wants us to go now. Okay, so it seems like we're here and we need to go down this way to the old bridge and old bridge construction. So deliver the old metal bridge. De deliver to the old metal bridge. Metal planks. All right. Okay, so we need to go here. So we got to go there and we can pick up our, lo our uh, supplies and then we'll be able to take them to the bridge and uh, help repair the bridge. So let's see if we can check our map really quick. And we just need to turn around. That'll be the best bet for us. Looks like we made it to the town and our destination should be over here on the left, not too far from here. So let's slow her down a little bit. I want to slam into anybody's houses. And one thing I'm noticing so far as I'm driving through here is that it seems more alive. You know, you see cars and I hear birds chirping and I also hear dogs barking. I've heard the church bells, you know, dinging or whatever. It just, it seems like the game is more alive and you actually feel like you're, you're in a town. It's really, really cool. So, let's go ahead and park right here. We have to hit cargo management. Uh, there are a couple ways to load cargo. Automatically loading provides a simple and fast way of loading. Also, I think you can uh, you can actually you know manage how you want to load the cargo wherever you want in the bed of your truck. And wherever you put it in the bed of your truck or on the trailer, whatever you are doing, it will actually affect you know how the trailer performs and the truck performs while pulling that cargo. All right, so now let's head on over to the old bridge. Now we just need to go up here, take a left and then a right, and it's not too far from there. And let's see how this whole construction thing works. Uh, according to the trailer is that you can actually see it being built or something like that. So let's go have a look. Oh boy, we gotta cross here again, don't we? Well. I think this thing will be able to make it. Oops, sorry about the sign. <laughs> Big truck problems. All right, let's uh, let's see how this thing goes through this this water. Ah, like it was nothing. Oh god, we better watch out. Now we're gonna dip off here into the mud hole. I don't think this will be a problem either for this thing. Hopefully not. Like the left side is spinning. We don't actually have differential lock or anything in this truck. Um, yeah, we don't. All right, we got a park right on in this spot here. Let's hit the park and brake. Cargo management, and we can hit A to unload. Completed. Oh, so you can see it actually coming together. Super, super cool there. Uh, repairing the bridge. All right. Now we have to go collect some wooden planks. Zero of two. So there's two slots over there. And I guess we're going to go pick up both. So I think that's what we're going to do in the next episode. What I'm going to do now is let's see if I can figure out how to shift this thing. There we go. Put her in reverse. And we're going to back her on up. And we'll park right here for the time being. Shut the old girl off. And I think that's going to do it for the first episode of SnowRunner. In the next episode, we are going to be finishing up this bridge construction and maybe even doing, you know, some more, some more, uh, just exploring. I have no idea what's to come in this game. I know there's a lot of contracts and missions, whatnot, that we can do. And there's also mod support. We're going to be doing a lot of mod showcases and just, you know, maybe even some multiplayer fun with my friends. So hopefully you guys did enjoy this. If you did, smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts on SnowRunner if you have gotten a chance to play it yet. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Later.